Hey guys, this is Captain Goodnight here. I'm gonna try to show you a old RPG game, Robo Trek, <clears throat> for the Super NES. Now this was, uh, you know, Enix made this um, before they were with uh, Square, um, and this is what they were kind of up to. Um, they had like Brain Lord was another RPG they did. It was very cool. Just one of those that not everyone played. And this one uh, kind of goes goes the same. So <clears throat> from the get go, you're gonna see. Oh, I'm just gonna put in Captain. You're gonna see that it looks like your straight up RPG you'd expect on uh, on the Super NES. Um, but this game is real interesting, real different. Um, there's a, as you get through, you'll see some really crazy things that you get to do. Like with your robot, for once. So when you get in battle, you, uh, you battle with the robot, robot that you make. And you make the robot, and you level it up. You can add things to it. You can create your own special attacks by different, uh, button combinations. Go talk to the mayor. Mayor, okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the story's pretty nuts too. It goes all over the place. Um, I never finished this game. I got stuck in. I was hacking into some computer, and I think I got stuck there. The game got real hard for me. I don't think I understood everything that I was supposed to do. So B will run. You got a mailbox. You will get mail sometimes. Um, you come back to this town a lot. Always ring the doorbell before entering a house. You get in trouble. Let's go exploring later. All right. Yeah, well, that's kind. So anyway, um, you only have one robot at a time that, as far as I could tell, I played, you know, a good ten hours, I think, into the game. At least it felt felt like that. It was a pretty long game. Yes, I just moved into town. Um, but just the things that you do to to get your robot to attack, say... I said something about button combinations, so let me elaborate there. Um, what will happen is, say, like you'll you'll want to put an attack in a line, and then you can push A A A A all the way, or A B X Y Y, or something of that sort, right? Say about five different buttons, and it it doesn't tell you anything about what each what that's going to do but if you combine them in different ways you'll see that they will do different things um, and it's just experimenting and seeing how uh, how that goes um, with what, what attacks you're going to end up getting it's pretty cool uh, just different alright But again, if you're into the RPG stuff, I, I'd say this is a is a good one to look for. Robo Trek. It's uh just kind of different. I don't know. And the the story's kind of fun. It's different kind of setup and. Officer Einst. Einstein. I'd assume that's what they mean. Alright, I got you. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, I'm not paying attention too much to the dialogue, because I know I'm not going to be able to do so too much, rather than just kind of run around and talk about the game. Um, I can't get in, into any battles yet, because I, I don't have my robot. 
and that happens. Uh, it doesn't take that long. Um, oh, those books too. So you'll find books to read, and you'll learn. You'll learn different things from reading the book. See, because here we're gonna make a robot. All right, all right. Um, and then you read different things, like you'll get, uh, you know, rockets level one or level three or sword level three or something like that. Because the the robot has like three different attacks. He'll just do a sword attack kind of thing, or or he'll do a rock. You can shoot rockets out of your backpack thing he wears. Yes, yes, yes. Everything's about the robot. You're an inventor, you create a robot to do all your fighting for you. And you level up the robot, and so forth, just like any other kind of RPG. But But yeah, this this one is is different. Yeah, you get a you get a different experience out of this one. It's not just your run of the mill, same old, same old. Ooh, found two thousand GP. Um, you know what, and I think you can actually make multiple robots, but you can only have one out in your field at once. I already saw the damn mirror. Oh, okay. I get it. I had to wait for her to take me down here, teach me how to make a robot. No, oh, look at that, Super NES controller. And this is how you're going to invent your robot. Combine items. Yeah, see, there, there's a lot of stuff you can do. It's pretty, uh, pretty deep. Nope, can't do that. Um, to make a robot. Yes, sir. All right, let's see how this all goes. I think they're gonna come out here and do a little fun and create. This we're creating a robot right here, guys. Here it comes. Let's see what he looks like. It's working. Oh, there he is. Nice red robot. Oh boy, let's call him Bob for now. Oh wow, so... Wow, I don't remember the energy in place with all this other stuff. Ah, let's just stop there. I'm uh, not, not going to have much time here anyway. Um, so anyway, yeah, they're they're gonna tell you about a little bit at how to do some things, and as you go, they let you know more on how to build up on the robot and what you can do. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's Robo Tricks as as much as I can really show you, because my time is just about up. All right, let's just see if I could run out to a fight real quick. Oh boy, show it to your father, it will make him happy. Alright, uh, well, I'm gonna have to stop anyways. So that's Robotrek. Uh, check it out if you're into this stuff, it's really good. And I will talk and see you guys all later on. Take it easy.